Welcome to the seventh section in this course on Node.js for beginners. In this section, we are going to learn how to build CLI tools with Node and NPM. Having gone through the previous section, you are probably aware what is a CLI, but let me briefly explain in two sentences. CLI stands for Command Line Interface and is basically a program that you can run from the terminal. Two very popular CLIs include NPM, which we have already come across, and the other one is Git, which is a version control system. In this section, our goal is to create a very simple CLI using Node.js. In this particular video, I will show you how to create a basic CLI tool using Node and NPM. In the next video, I will show how to pass options to the CLI. In the third video, I will show how to add interactivity to the CLI. If that makes sense, let's head back to VS Code and get started with implementing a basic CLI. Now creating a CLI is similar to creating an NPM package with a few extra steps. So for step one, let's initialize a new NPM project. I'm going to create a new folder called my custom CLI. In the terminal, I'm going to navigate into the project folder. And run the command npm init dash dash yes. This will generate a new package.json with default values within our my custom CLI folder. In the package.json file, I'm going to change the project name to Code Evolution Pokedex. Spoiler alert, we will be making use of the Pokemon API in the next video. Do make sure that your package name is unique. NPM will not let you publish it to the registry if a package already exists with the same name. All right, for step two, let's write the code we want to execute when we run the CLI command. So within the same folder, create a new file, index.js. And for now, let's add one log statement that says, code evolution pokedex. All right, for the third and final step, we convert this package into a CLI. And that requires two additions. First, in index.js, at the top, we add hash symbol exclamation slash user slash bin slash env space node. This is called hash bang or shebang, which tells the operating system which interpreter to use. In our case, we specify node as the interpreter and the location where node is installed. Second, in package.json, we add a new field called bin. The bin field basically allows us to treat our package as an executable file, which can be installed into the path variable. The value is an object which contains key value pairs. As key, we specify the command we want to execute to run our CLI. In our case, I will call it code evolution pokedex. The value to this key is the entry point to the CLI. That is index.js. And that is pretty much it. We have created our first CLI tool. To test it as a CLI, we need to install this package. Now you may think we need to publish this package to the registry and install it. Well, there is a simpler way. From within the project folder, you can run sudo npm install dash g. I've not specified the package name as you can see. And sudo is not required if you're on Windows. When you run this command, npm will install our CLI tool globally. And during the installation, it will come across this bin field and register the code evolution pokedex command which will run index.js. Once the command completes, we can run 
code evolution hyphen pokedex in the terminal press enter and we see the log statement from index.js code evolution pokedex really simple as you can see in the next video let's add some logic and understand how to pass options to our cli thank you for watching please do consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one